Hey guys, welcome back to Children of Morta. Just like we said at the end of last episode, we're going to take John, who's chilling right here reading a book, we're going to take him in the new area we unlocked, because we haven't quite played through a dungeon with John. We did the tutorial with him, but that's not really enough to uh, do things like level him up and stuff like that. So we're going to Lost Trenches. For centuries, these dark caves have been home to the goblin tribes. So I imagine we're going to fight a bunch of goblins. So here we are, John, level one, poor guy. Uh, main goal is really to unlock his level four family trait or family buff, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then unless we unlock a new character, we still have three left to unlock. We'll probably go back to Linda uh, just to be our main um, story progressor or dungeon grinder or whatever. Unless one of these new these new three guys, we like the, the gameplay style better. Uh, but for now, we're just going to check out John and the new area. Scattered bones, stripped clean of flesh, lay in stark contrast to the dead left untouched. Hunger and malice thrived. The lost trenches, the new residents of the goblin hordes. Yeah, so creepy, scary goblins and a bunch of dead stuff. So we have to remember that John is still level one. So we pretty much only have his right click unlocked. Uh, the next thing we would get is this melee attacker takes damage when blocked by John's shields. So he's definitely like a tanky paladin, I don't know, re retribution type of uh, you hit me, you take damage character. So we have this swinging arc melee. We can hold a shield up, which basically turns our stamina into like a secondary uh, HP um, health bar. And if we hold shift and attack, it's more of a thrust and then we have our right click that drops a bunch of swords so let's see what we can do see how this is i'm curious how you know yeah i want to check out john but i also want to check out how it is to you know take a lower level character in the in the next um area to see if you can really survive and you know because i was kind of scared that you would have to take newly unlocked characters and Take them all the way back in the very beginning dungeon, just to grind that over and over again. So we're gonna we're gonna put that to the test. Oh, we just walked into an arrow like a dummy. Uh, stamina regenerates at a greater rate. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, little obelisk thing. All right, let's go kill these guys. I guess we could just sit here and hold the shield up. You, you can still attack with it. With it up. Kind of like the swinging arc better. Arc melee, I mean. Alright, let's go in here. Kill him. Kill him in the face. Ooh. I mean, it is much harder. It is definitely much harder than just going back into the silk caverns. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run away from these guys for a second and go back and get that chest way over there and then we can do a level up thing too all right give me a buff let's do it okay gold is still good gold is good remember guys all right so we only have one leaf looking power up I don't even know what these are called uh, so we get this so enemies now take damage whenever we block them that's pretty pretty cool All right, let's go test it out. Just gonna run up here. Yeah, that's cool. They're all kind of taking damage. Sweet. So it's definitely like a. He'll do a lot better with these mass mobs of enemies coming at us. So we can just block and make sure we stay alive and they take a bunch of damage. I really think too certain certain power-ups will work a lot better on certain characters like the one you get in the very tutorial mission that uh, whenever you damage someone it does like burn uh, extra burn damage well it makes sense I mean if he's gonna be tanky he's probably not gonna do as much damage as everyone else so the burn by burn on hit works a lot better for him uh, here's the next little area let's go collect our prize Okay, crit strike, that's fine. Oh, crit uh, crit hit chance, I thought it was crit damage buff. 
But yeah, crit hit chances. Uh, good on everyone. At least I would imagine it's good on everyone. I can't I can't think of a scenario where it wouldn't be good. What? Empty chest. Blasphemy. Alright, well. Oh. Unstable relic. It's a charm. Swap divine relic after it's used for another random one. Uh, I guess we need a divine relic to use that. That's a really weird thing. Alright, so we have completed it. Looks like we might actually end up seeing the boss of this place. I didn't think I would survive very long. Alright, let's go to level 2. Kept in check by a Nea Dyer's will, the goblin hordes never dared to linger in her caves. Ah, oh, yeah. Her place was in the bloodless forest, banished for the brutality. Getting better uh, hitting that shift key to block stuff. Oops. And then I just missed an opportunity to block. That's okay. We got potions. So for being a goblin cave, there sir are a lot of bats and skeletons. And not very many goblins. So the same issue with uh, with John here as I was having with Kevin. Uh, ooh, that's a big guy. It's kind of hard to hit the the you know more mobile character or more mobile enemies being melee. Oh, our yeah, and he broke through all of our stamina. Let's see what this is. Oh, we just get a buff. Divine relic. That's always nice. We don't have a gemstone for that. What is a significantly incre increase luck? Interesting. I wonder if that's just a crit bonus or if it gives us more gold and items and stuff. Really use some potions. All right, what is this here? We found a journal. Well, look at that freaking guy. Oh, so more, more of this. Uh, more care missing caravan, I guess. I don't know which the first one was. Uh, I think this was the first one. So this one, evening caravan found. Delia joins Drake and myself in searching. It feels like the good old days with the gang. We found the caravan, but we were unable to reach it in time. The travelers are deceased. Cause of death unknown, but a dark substance oozes from them. We seek to consult with An Anaya Daya on the cause. I probably pronounced that name wrong, even though I probably heard it about 10 times playing this game. So I guess the, those journals are going to be a uh, like a catalog or the storytelling of where the corruption came from, I'd assume. All right, let's go this way. All right, here's an elite. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. Sweet. So I was really expecting the, this level to be much harder, uh, but it seems like we're holding our own pretty good. I imagine the boss will kind of just stomp on us though. We're going to get another level, that, that, that's going to be nice. Of course I think it's a level where we just have to save a point. Oh I keep forgetting I have my right click, what is wrong with me? Oops, and then I just walked into those two arrows. Alright, let's go kill those goblins. Yeah, I, I need to be using that right click every chance I get. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have a gemstone. All right, bat. Okay, okay, guys. Ooh. Oh no, that's not good. These guys do hit pretty hard. Potions, please. Potions would be nice. All right, let's go in here. See if we can, we can get ourselves some potions. Oh, that's a lot of guys. I'm gonna go up here. All right. Whoops. Uh, this might be bad. Potion. Oh, I keep forgetting I have Q too. Oh, that's a big angry, scary guy. Keep spawning more guys. Oh, and then we died. We died. Well, we found the journal. We got to check out the new nuke area, uh, which it seems pretty easy, but as soon as I started fighting the big guys, they just chunk down your health really quick. Oh, hey, it's a new guy. Looks like he hurt his arm. While painful, for a mother to see her son in sickness was still better than missing him for so long. Mary knew she would make caring for Mark her mission. Okay, Mark. Mark had to warn them about the dangers approaching, despite how difficult it was to talk. He started naming the villages that were evacuated, or worse, taken over by the corruption, but soon succumbed to fatigue and fell asleep. Mary recalled hearing of an herbalist in Caldipo Caves that would have the yarrow at hand needed to treat Mark. The Bergsons would once again need to brave the treacherous caves in search of the herbalist. Okay, so I guess we need to get an herbalist. We still don't have the poor dog. Hmm. Ben's work. Uh, we should spend some gold. I think we have some gold, yeah. I mean, I think we just keep going with primary damage every time we can afford it. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, let's see what they have to say. Goblin bandits have been preying on the Nea Dyer's pilgrims with unprecedented cruelty, removing the evil to help those who had taken refuge in the caves. Ben had heard that the goblin siblings' lair was somewhere in the lost trenches. Bergsons had to deal with those two as soon as they could. Okay. Uh, so it's definitely giving me like side quests that need to happen in the Lost Trenches, but I still want to save the dog. Is there any way to see what the extra things you need done? All right, I think I'm gonna quickly just run through the Silk Cavern again. Cause I know we got the two pieces that I'm pretty sure you need to save the dog, but I'm just not like triggering the, the story cause I keep doing other stuff. I don't know. Finding the herbalist was the most pressing matter. The healing herb needed to be taken to Mary as soon as possible. Uh, well, I went to the wrong place for that little, that little narration you just told me. But I think I can quickly just run through this. I just want to see if it'll trigger the, the story for saving the dog. Okay. 
do a lot of damage, we should just kind of be able to roll through all this stuff really quickly. And you know, if we level up again, that'd be pretty ideal. One held a gift. Two hid ferocious creatures. It was the lady or the tiger. Yeah, I just want a gift. Increased dodge chance, that's fun. Oh, it's a potion. <laughs> so bad at using those. All right, my goal for the end of this run, we're gonna use that thing. Probably just use it on the spider boss. Right, let's go pick this up. I love how those traps will kill the enemies. Makes me happy. Uh, potion. Alright, I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible. I'll go ahead and pick that up. I know it overrides this one, but it's all good. Definitely helps clear stuff out. Yeah, so I'm excited that the game just kind of gives you access to new characters quickly. At least, I, I mean, you know, I have to find the herbalist first, but still. Uh, seems to progress very quickly. Give us Kevin pretty quick. Because, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of options. You know, because like this character, short and seal shield dude, might not be for everyone. Is it worth going down there? Yeah, let's just do it really quick. We're definitely going to gain a level here. That should put us at level 4. Ow. Definitely, I feel like I'm starting to get used to the different controls a lot better. Um, like use, actually using the evade, timing the blocks better. I keep getting hit very, very stupidly, but you know, we'll just take some practice, I suppose. All right, let's. Go. Oh, I I could have teleported all the way back up. I forgot about that. All right, we already got that buff. There's nothing to the left. Let's run through here real quick. There we go. That's a nice level. All right, so we're gonna put, uh, let's do thorn damage. That sounds fun. All right, so we, yep, we unlocked max health on all family members. That's nice. So in the next level, we can get our rage ability. Unleash your, unleash your rage to temporarily become invulnerable and deal thorn damage to attackers. So he's definitely like a huge tank thorn damage type of, type of character. Which is pretty cool. I, li I like that play style. I just need to remember to actually hold shift to block, you know. Hey guys. Need you guys to die really quick. Oh, he crits for a lot too. Okay, here's a nice elite we can test stuff on. Ooh, oh, yeah, exploded him pretty good. And nothing. Hmm. 
Huh. I just wanted to see if they'd kill themselves on, on you. Apparently they do. Nice. Oh, we need to go back to this room real quick. Yeah, so it's definitely, you know, attack, attack, block. Nice. Yeah, so these webs, definitely annoying for a melee character. Same struggle I was having with Kevin. Whoops, missed that dodge pretty badly. Alright, here's the end. Um, gained our level. Okay, yep, same, same guy here. Upon receiving a fatal blow, revive at a modest portion of maximum health. So I guess that's like an extra life. Nearby enemies take damage when you're attacked. Yeah, that kind of, I feel like that, that fits the fits the theme pretty good. Blood Ode. All right, let's uh, maybe clear out the map. Still want to get gold and XP wherever possible. We can do it. Do it ra uh, relatively easy. I mean, we're one-shotting a lot of stuff here now. Shouldn't take that long to clear everything out. I know we keep spending a lot of time in this in this area, but I feel like oh god, I'm frozen. Phew, that was scary. Well, that was kind of unexpected. What is this? Uh, no. <laughs> the amount of guys that just descended on us, I was not prepared for it. And then I got stuck by the purple crystal the elite does. So I couldn't block. So I was very much panicking there. Did not think I was going to survive. And that would have been horribly embarrassing. Steps were taken without regret, for it was never possible to change a destiny unknown. Uh, oh, hey, we got it right. Okay, that's disappointing. Alright, hopefully this will be the last time we have to hang out in this cave. Like, I, I really just want to save the dog. You know, it's like you, you watch a movie with a bunch of violence and people are getting injured and killed and stuff, but you're always just like, oh my god, don't, don't, kill, the, don't kill the animal, don't kill the dog. You know, worst part about John Wick was, you know, when they killed the dog. Don't mind the, like, massive amount of uh, dead bodies that that got piled up in that movie. We were sad about the dog. Potion instead of a gemstone. Uh, let's just get this. We won't come back for it. It's fine. All right, here's another elite, and I just <laughs> dodged into the the freezy thing. Okay. Dead end? Yes, dead end. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way to the right. Actually, we are really close to another level. Uh, fine. Should only take an extra minute or so. It's probably going to be a real quick dead end too. Maybe not. Did just get a boatload of... Ooh, who is this? Uh, I guess this is... We get a consolation price because we already have the merchant unlocked. Is 
Is it harder than normal? I don't know. Alright, wave two, let's go. And we got our level, that's good. That was worth it. What do we get what do, what do we get for this? Increase maximum health at the expense of decreased primary attack damage. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I guess there is a, still a tiny bit left here, which should just be the rest of this loop. But we missed a whole bunch of gold. Can't leave out without gold. The dungeon just keeps going. Alright, buff. Sweet, what is that? Oh, a companion that stuns. I like that little guy. All right. This should hopefully be the end of the spider place. Oh. We'll probably end up coming back at some point, but uh, even if we if we get a new character, I, I still want to try just farming the, the higher level ones to get more s stuff. Drop a divine item. Okay, increased more. That would have been helpful at the beginning of the run, but... Alright, let's go kill this spider. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Alright, so let's do the same thing we did with Kevin. We need to get up in this spot so we can attack. Don't like that. Getting much better at fighting this guy. Whoops. Oh, crap. Yep, that didn't feel good. Oh, I... Pretty sure I dodged there. Still like dodge so far away. Almost there. There we go. Okay, hopefully that was the last time we're gonna come into the silk cave, at least for a while. your help Sheila it's not for me come to aid the family for Mary and her children and so Ben's letter ended well they have like owl mail his doubts showing he contemplated his relationship with the warrior the emotional and single-minded Sheila why had they ended the question still unanswered. Okay, we still have not saved the dog. I don't understand what's happening. We do have a bunch of money though. I guess maybe we do get this. Adds another 50% duration. It's only 475. So we could get this and then like health up or something. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that jumps a whole bunch. All right, so uh, yeah, let's get let's get health up too. All right, cool. Okay, well we're still trying to figure out how to save the dog. Like I swear in the in the pre-release demo, I just got those two two items from the silk cave, and then it just triggered a story event. So I'm not really not really sure why it's not doing it. Like I don't know if the game just kind of randomizes the story events that you, you trigger. So if you guys know what, what the deal is, please enlighten me. Because uh, I just want to save this dog. I'm going to be really sad if I, if I miss the opportunity. Look, look how sick he is. Poor little guy. 
he didn't do anything to deserve this. So, you know. Anyway, let's look at our little guys here. We got John to level 4. He's got some cool skills, more HP to everyone. We like that. He's kind of a tanky character. Um, of the three, though, until we unlock, what was his name, Mark, I think we're gonna, still going to keep going with Linda. Um, oh, wait, we actually have an ability we still need to unlock here. Guardian's Rage. Linda focuses to temporarily push her abilities to the max, drastically increasing her attack speed. So this is the you use your Rage to, to do some crazy stuff. While standing still, Linda's damage increases with each loosed arrow. I feel like those in combination will uh, do a whole bunch of damage, but we're gonna get this one. So we have a we have a rage ability now. Sweet. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely be checking out that rage ability in the next episode because we're gonna we're gonna continue with Linda uh, in the next area. Let me know what you guys think of John's play style in the comments. Thanks for watching.